whether we like it or not some earth hides can be high maintenance from the time you spend doing your wash day routine to the money you spend on products trying to understand your earth type this time four years ago i was on low cut i literally cut my hair off because i was so tired and exhausted of the whole process of trying to make my hair trying to understand different products and i was just tired and again few months after i made up my mind to start growing my hair again <laughs> Yeah, so I've been through a whole roller coaster of trying to understand my hair. Moving to the UK also added more to it because I realized that my hair care routine in Nigeria wasn't working in the UK and I had to start to learn my hair from scratch again and learn how to care for my hair from scratch again. As someone with the first year type, it seems like there is a different societal standard and I'm saying that in quotes, societal standard for beauty, for the kind of hair that is standard, a type of hair that is presentable and this is not really helpful because again a lot of people are not encouraged to embrace their hair to love their hair to fall in love with their curls look at my curls are you look Personally, it has been an interesting journey trying to understand my hair, trying to fall in love with my hair, trying to understand the products that work for my hair. By the way, the fact that sometimes I also have to pay more for my hair type because my hair type is different. I have to pay more when I go to the salon. There's just a lot that comes with hair. One thing my hair has taught me is patience. I'm just trying to understand my hair more and more and more and if you're like me and you're just trying to understand your hair trying to fall in love with your hair or you just want to just join us in this chip chat this will be a good one for you to stay tuned and keep watching hey everyone welcome back to the channel if this is your first time seeing my face i talk about everything self-improvement personal development and lifestyle and today we're talking about our hair which is our crown oh you can see i'm styling my hair today in two two puff puff two bun this is like my easy to go hair style when i'm confused on what way to style my hair this is what i go for when i don't know what to do with my hair this is what i go for whether we like it or not some hair types require more work but actually my first year one of the times i went to the salon this year the stylist actually told me that your hair should be categorized in another category not first year because <laughs> And I totally understand it because looking at my hair, you might seem like, oh, hair is short. But when you start twisting and start making it, you just realize that ah, this hair is not short. Um, let me do like a, a, a strand test to show you the length of my hair. Just look at the length. Just look at the length. And one of the things I also deal with is shrinkage. Before I went on no relapse, because I wanted to say natural hair. Every hair is natural, like, <laughs> but we just have many people that have applied relaxers or have pimped their hair. When I was on relaxed hair, caring for my relaxed hair and caring for my hair now, is actually two different ways. Like, it's not the same thing. Like, I had to learn a different way to care for a hair that is not pumped and relaxed. Yeah, so it has been a journey it has been a journey but one of the things i had to learn first was understanding my hair type and understanding the different hair types type one type two type three type four and for type four again we have type 4a type 4b type 4c understanding your hair type is the first step to understanding what would work for you and the next thing is also understanding your hair porosity type so all of these things i learned it too like i had to learn it we have high porosity, low porosity hair. There's some hair that when you add water to it, it absorbs the water. There are some hair type that does not absorb water. Knowing the, your hair porosity type will determine the type of treatment you will do to your hair. Because what I have seen is that a lot of people just come online and say, oh, a protein treatment. And then they start doing a protein treatment to their hair. And your hair type or your hair porosity type might not be for protein treatments. It might just be for you to steam your hair. See how different things and different factors will determine the type of treatments and the type of product you would use for your hair products are another thing i had to learn when my hair was relaxed i was just using hair cream i had my um, shampoo and conditioner and hair cream to go but now i have my conditioner sulfate free i have my leave-in conditioner i have different type of hair oil i have to my hair I have hair cream there's just a lot i am using for my hair it is as minimalist as possible i have two hair oil i use now i have one leave-in conditioner i have one shampoo and one conditioner to wash my hair so that's all i use for my hair now but again when i need to do like some treatment i have to get that or go to the salon to get those things done another part thing again is how the moment people see your hair type they're already charging you so much money and i get it it's my it's going to take longer time for them to 
make my hair tight and <laughs> it's just what it is they might need to spend much time making my hair tight and it's just what it is you can't blame stylist or anyone who is going to spend one hour on the hair type and on my hair type they'll spend two hours like you're paying for their time so in a way i get why they would might want to charge me more than other hair types this is just what it is it's just for me to learn to embrace it like it is my hair what can i do about it nothing yeah next thing i'll talk about is how we don't talk about the time we take the time we invest into caring for the hair in the morning i am team protective styling if you can just put your hair into cornrows wear a wig braid your hair just so you are able to just get it moving in the morning okay get it moving when you have an event get it moving every day because anytime i'm styling my hair i always give myself extra like 15 minutes or 20 minutes to my get ready with me time meanwhile when i'm on braids it's just let's go we, we keep it moving i just put on my wig and we keep it moving so again it's the awareness for you to know that your hair type is not something that should make you feel like you're disadvantaged this morning now i must have spent about 10 15 minutes just trying to put conditioner in my hair trying to put hair oil trying to pass it and style it into two tomorrow i want to style it in a different way so just knowing that you just need to create and ensure that you had extra time because again let's let's be real when some of us are laying with our doing front house you allocate extra time to your get ready with me time so just see it as when you want to install a front house and then just allow for extra time when you are styling your natural hair don't see it as a disadvantage okay please 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 i am not against wearing wig if you go to my channel i'm on wigs i'm on braids i'm on everything okay i'm just talking about how we can learn to embrace our natural hair i'm not against styling your hair in different ways or trying to just put your hair in a style that works for you it is important to remember that your natural hair is beautiful so you're beautiful with your hair brown skin yeah chocolate and caramel <laughs> okay just remember that your hair is beautiful too and it's okay to be on protective style it's okay to be on braids it's okay to wear wigs it's okay to be on six by six hd front salon your natural hair is not any less beautiful whether it's relaxed or not relaxed a particular hair type doesn't have a better presentation than under hair type and again remember that it took me a while to get to this because i cut my at the point i cut it <laughs> Yes, yeah, so um, I just hope with these few points of mine, I've been able to convince you and to let you know that your natural hair is beautiful. Wear your crown when you can and do what works for you, protective hairstyles and anything that will just make it easy for you. Because again, I'm going to make my hair soon. Yes, even though I'm talking about this because the next couple of weeks will be busy for me and that extra 20 minutes in the morning to care for my hair might be useful in another thing you see just do what works for you like at the end of the day find what works for you again i don't want to spend every day 30 days in a month trying to care for my hair i think i tried that earlier this year for two three months i was styling my natural hair every day please don't ask me how that went <laughs> quite stressful in it one of the things it made me to do i understand is falling in love with my hair and just getting to understand my hair better but will i do it again anytime soon no <laughs> again i enjoy the process if you get it like it's like okay like like i don't like relationship you get <laughs> i like my hair but again when i remember that it can be stressful i'm like you know what i'm just going to braid my hair you know what i'm just going to do put mine into cornrows and wear wigs every day just to fall in love with your hair basically and i think that'll be all for today's video if you picked up something new remember to like remember to subscribe remember to share i hope this video has inspired you to embrace your natural hair to embrace your natural beauty to rock your hair with all pride okay okay and i will see you in the next one bye hey guys and welcome back to no, no, no. because um people because again a lot of people are not encouraged mm.